Hey guys, welcome back to another style in CSS tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about how to target specific input types with um, like just specific input types such as input type uh, text, input type button, those kind of things. So let's just call this input uh, selectors. So you might notice that when you actually write the input in your HTML it's not the same kind of syntax as everything else. So for example, if we were making a, uh, let's just say, a label, right, like this just has this, and then you just write your uh, label stuff inside of that. And let me just search up input selectors. Okay, yeah, so you just write your label content inside of these two things, right? But when we have an input, it's actually what we call what you call a self-closing tag, which means it doesn't actually have another side. So you don't you don't write anything like uh, this. You don't put anything here. This isn't how you write an input. You actually have your type there, and then you can put your things inside of a value thing. So if it was a type text, you'd write something like this is oh let's just say starter text. And yeah, so that's the text which you get started with. And yeah, so the way you, that makes it a bit trickier to um, target it in the style. I mean, not too much harder, like it's still pretty simple. And I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. So, first, I'll show you guys how to target this label. It's really simple. You can just write something like uh, label, and then you can do whatever you want. So, I can just pick the background color red. So, to target this input type text, all I'm going to do is first target every input and then I'm going to narrow it down to do type is equal to text like that and that's how we target these input type text or uh, you could just set like another class like that's no way so if you just do class and then text field you can always just do this like this this is going to target the same thing so if we have background color red uh, you can see it changes background color and then as you know, classes have a higher specificity, so we can make this blue, and oh, I guess it's not going to change. Uh, okay, maybe we need to do an ID then, and then I'll just do this. Yeah, so I guess classes don't have a higher specificity than this, because with this might increase the specificity. You can actually check it if you go over to here. And then it tells you here, and then if we go to index or ID, you see it has over that, but that's for another video. So, anyways, this is how you target the specific input types. And now, obviously, I can just do this for everything. So, if I have a button, and we have a value of, uh, let's just say, click me, and then I can just target this button using input type equals the button and let's give us a background color of blue so yeah that's basically it for this video this was just how to target specific input types and just like this and see you guys in a future tutorial bye